Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to run through a quick demo of the checking tools developed by IBM Consulting. Just go to my website, ibmconsulting.com.au and click on the tools page and select checking. It will give you the list of the checking tools available for you. I'm going to do a quick demo, but if you want to see how these applications work in detail, you can watch the demo by clicking this YouTube links. First, I'm going to start with the path properties check. Let me open the application. This application reads the master Excel check sheet. So this is my standard Excel sheet. I have already filled some details here. It is going to use the name as the filter option and then checks the members in the model. If anything which is not matching with this Excel sheet, it will be automatically updated in the Tecla model. So it will read this information from here and it will update. And you have to wait until the system loads the data. Once it has been uploaded, you can select the members and run this application. Or if you want to run only for a few members, you can use the filter option and it will show all the filters from your system. Just for the demo, I'm taking this column here and then once I click modify parts in model, can you see it has been updated? So if I go back to the Excel sheet, part start number is 101 and assembly start number is 1001, class is 6 and hot dip galvanized. So using this applications, you can eliminate properties checking of your model. Next, we are going to see this Tecla Excel live link. This application reads the data from Tecla model and extract that information into the Excel sheet. And if there is something that you want to change, change it in the Excel sheet. And with the click of a button, it will update your Tecla model. For example, so this is my Excel sheet. You have to open and then this is the active sheet. And if you want to add any further data, for example, select an, anyone and press letter C because I want to add class attribute. So this is going to read or extract data of these properties in the Excel sheet. Either you can run for the selected object or you can use the filter option. So this time I'm going to use Perlin. And uh, this is my Excel sheet. With the click of a button, it is going to retrieve all the Perlin details. Now you can see here. For example, I want to change the class attribute of all the Perlins to maybe you can say 25. Let me just update all the Perlins. And the part prefix should also be changed to PU. And once it is done, now I'm going to update my Tecla model. I'm just keeping the Excel sheet on the second screen. And then click synchronize to model by selected rows. Can you see all my Perlins been updated? Let me just select one of them. 25 and part prefix is PU and assembly number prefix is also PU. So it will be easy for you to update the model directly from Tecla Excel sheet. And it is also going to save you a lot of time. The next application is check dimension and properties. This application will display the dimensions of secondary members in relation to the primary part. You can use this application both in plan and elevation. You can also display additional information here, profile, material and finish. And if you want to display any other attribute, you can use these fields. This is my plan view. Let me just select the rafter as primary and all these members as secondary. With the click of a button, you can see it displays the dimensions. It shows the name of the primary member. Let's go to the elevation view and see how we, how this application works. 
Next, I'm going to use this application in elevation view. Select elevation and click this command and pick the primary and then pick all the purlins. I understand it is also selecting the plate and then press the middle mouse. It's asking me to pick horizontal beam for view plane. Let me just pick this rafter again or you can pick any horizontal member. I understand this member is on the slope, but still you can pick and it shows the dimensions. Next, we are going to run through this weld and bolt check. This application checks the weld if two parts are not touching. If there is something wrong with the welding, it's very difficult for us to identify, but you can see how easily incorrect weld can be identified using this application. I'm selecting all the weld and then run the application. What exactly it does? It hides all the correct weld and members and displays only the incorrect weld and the primary and secondary part. If you take a look at this one, you can see these two parts are not touching. It will be very easy for us to fix it. The next one is check hole. You can set the condition here. For example, this is the standard and diameter and tolerance and then set zero and zero for the slotted because uh, I don't want to check the slot. And then you select the bolt and run the application. This will display the list of bolts which are incorrect. Next is for the check purling. I have already set the condition here for uh, each purling size. And uh, again, if it is not matching, you can see the list of information here. And finally, the bolt check. If the bolt is going through only one part, it will identify and give you the list so that you can go ahead and fix it. There is also an option if you don't want the bolt to be checked, you can set user defined attributes so that uh, those bolts will be ignored when this application runs. And the last one is check drawing content. This application will give you the list of the drawings if the part mark, bolt or weld mark missing from the drawings. You can select all these boxes to run through the check or if you want to run only for the secondary part, you can just tick off the main part. So let me just keep these options here. And if I go to the properties, you can also set the conditions to ignore. For example, 22 is the common hole size. And if you don't want the system to trigger that as an issue, you can set the condition. Again, this is for the weld size. So let me just go to the drawing. Okay, I'm just going to make some update to the drawing sheet. To run this application, select the shop drawings and then click check. Now you can see it shows there are three part marks are missing. One is from C104, ES3 and FB5. Select the data and click open. It will directly open the drawing from the application. And once you click select, it will highlight the objects in the drawing sheet and right click add mark using the view properties or applied properties. Let me just close the drawing. And then I'm selecting this FB file. Open. Now you can see the part mark is missing here. So you can select right click, add mark. And the bolt mark is also missing for this drawing sheet. So if I go to the bolt, so you can add the mark. Next, if I come to the weld, so here, so these are the welds are missing in the drawing sheet. So this application will be helpful to find any missing 
part mark or bold mark or weld mark in the drawing sheet. If you have any question about this application, feel free to get in touch with me and thank you for watching this video.